Hey guys, it's your girl, a girl Kim Mac, and today is Sunday, January 16th. 16th? 16th. And I'm coming at you today to show you my hair because as you saw yesterday, I did the twist out. I took the twist out and they looked just not cute. So I pinned it up to save it. It looked decent. And then this morning I was like, you know what I have an idea so what I did was I put my hair in a puff and I got in the shower and I didn't put a shower cap on I just let it out and I let the humidity hit it and BAM this this is this is what's up I was really happy when I stepped out of the shower and looked in the mirror and I was like perfect it's full again and it just looks nicer it doesn't look so thin and super defined I like this so I guess a tip for you guys is if your twist out come out too defined and this is especially good for us fine hair naturals if your twist out looks too defined and too flat um, hop in the shower and let some humidity hit it and it will it will expand some so you'll get a little bit more volume so I wanted to share that with you guys also I wore these earrings yesterday but I modified them I cut the bottom part because it was too long and it was it was getting in the way maybe I guess when it's warmer out and I have less layers on it probably wouldn't have been that bad but because I'm wearing a scarf and turtlenecks and sweaters it was just getting in the way so I cut it and I kind of like it like this so that's why I said these are the prototype I'm just kind of playing around with different looks and things that I can do with this style of earrings and I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to come at you guys with. Oh, the other thing is I found a better alternative to the hair ties to make puffs. This is actually the top of an old stocking. And I know you guys have seen probably other videos, but theirs were skinnier. This one, I guess it was the type of hose I had. It had a really, it had a really thick band. But it gave me the idea to just sew my own bands and make them wider so that you can do more things with them. And I'll come back when I've made one and show you guys what I'm talking about because this is nice. It's no stress on my hairline. It's very loose, but it's holding my hair into place. So I think this is friendlier to your edges and it's not tight. So it's not going to cut off any circulation in your head or again put any stress on your hairline so just think about that guys and just use the the top of an old pair of stockings or I'm saying stockings that's old school old pair of pantyhose or whatever because it's a lot it's a lot less stress and it's nice and I like my hair today I didn't care for it yesterday I know I saved it but I like my hair a lot better today so I'm feeling good, feeling great, getting ready to start my Sunday. My cousin is in town, and she's actually a YouTuber here, and I'm going to, it's so bad. I don't remember people's screen names. It's terrible. I think it's that girl. She's relaxed, so she has a lot of great tips for relaxed ladies, and she uses Ayurvedic uh, regimen. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check out her channel. She has a lot of great information, and she's also a chemical engineer so she really can give you the background if you're interested in that on different ingredients and why they work and why maybe they don't work so that's it guys I will talk with you later I hope you all had a great weekend and on my agenda once I get back is I have an order to fill as you know I crochet net cows so if any of you are interested I guess hit me up, email me. Don't message me here on YouTube because I don't check that inbox very often. So if you send it there, I probably won't respond for a while because I just don't have time to check it all the time. So email me at Milan at a girl can Mac .com and we'll discuss and I'll give you the details because I haven't put them on my Etsy shop yet. So I have an order to fill and then I have to of course wash my hair and start over. And the dilemma again begins what to do with my hair. And I have no idea. But I'm liking my puff. I haven't worn a puff in a while. 
And this is like a shrunken, you know, kind of more shrunken since the humidity hit it. But maybe I'll rock a puff all week. I don't know. You know, with me, I just figure it out as I go along. So I'll probably tune back in sometime during the week so you can see what I'm doing. I just kind of want to share more of this with you guys, especially those that are starting out because it can be really overwhelming and you're like, you know, I have this different texture. What am I doing? What can I do with it? I'm tired of wearing just one hairstyle. So it's, I just want to encourage and inspire you guys to just see that it's so versatile. I'm really starting to see like anything I do with my straight hair, I can pretty much do with my natural hair texture. You may have to do some different techniques, but really you can do a lot of the same thing. So I just always people to encourage you to just have fun with it and just keep trying things. Just keep trying things because even the natural hair gurus, they don't have it all figured out. They're learning just like everybody else. So, and you know, and they had to start out where we were. So I'm excited. This is, I'm going into, this is my third year of being natural going into my third year I'm actually I've been natural for two years but this is you know what I mean going to the yeah so learning a lot and I just want to continue to share that with you guys and you know bring you along the journey because that's exactly what it is one day you're having a good hair day and the next you're not so I will talk with you all later I may come back because in my video that yesterday I, I said that my friend gave me her kinky curly knot today so I might try that tonight and if I do maybe I'll get on camera and talk about what I felt about it and yada yada so talk to you guys later enjoy the what's left of the weekend and yeah bye bye